the day. I am Miss Maria Marisol Ibador, your science teacher. So today, we will be having a new lesson. that you are extremely excited for this lesson. So what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. Let's discover something new together. I'm going to discuss about the classify materials based on the ability to absorb water, float, sink, and undergo decay. So this topic is the first quarter week one. So now, are you ready? So I know, I feel that you are excited. Okay, so the first one that we are need to define is the word absorb. So what is the meaning of absorb? So that is um, to soak up. So meaning in Tagalog, sumisipsip po ng tubig or ng liquid material. So that is absorb meaning is to soak up so what are the examples of materials that absorb water can you please name these things so the first one is called as body towel or towel the second one is called a cotton and the third one is the tissue and the last one is the cotton shirt. So these are the examples of materials that absorbs water. Okay, did you know that materials that can absorb water is called as porous materials? And the materials that cannot absorb water is called non-porous materials. Okay, so now this is your time. This is your time to shine. So... Um, can you please give me an example of um, porous materials or the materials that get absorb water that you can see around your home or inside your home? Okay, I know you got it. So that's very good. So now you already know what is absorb is. Let's go to another word. So the first, uh, the second word is called as float. So when we say float, that is not a quote float. <laughs> okay, it's, it's ju just a joke. Okay, so the meaning of float is to stay on top or above. So meaning in Tagalog, lumulutang. So I know you can float on the water okay so these are the examples of materials that float in water so the first one is a water bottle and the second one is a wood so i'm going to give you another five seconds to name all the materials that you can see inside your home on five seconds so are you ready i know you you are ready and excited. Okay, that is so very good and amazing. You got it all right. After the float, you need to know about um, next is to sink. So what is the meaning of sink? So meaning is to stay at the bottom. Kung kanina yung float is on top, the sink is on the bottom, okay? In Tagalog, lumulubog po siya sa tubig, okay? So, what are the things or what are the examples of materials that can sink on water? So, the first one is a peso coin. So, all of your coins can sink on water. And the next one is a rock or pebbles. So another 5 seconds that you can name all of the things that sink on water. Okay. 
Okay, you are really amazing and very good in each of um, giving example. You got it all right. So for the last one, it's called as decay. So what is the meaning of decay? Meaning is to rot a process of slowly losing quality. So in Tagalog, that is um nabubulok okay all of the things that can decay is a rat or process of slowly losing quality so what are the examples of decaying materials so the first one is all of the fruits can decay and all of the meats also decaying materials so another five seconds for you so this is um you are going to give me an example all of the things that you can see on your kitchen that decaying materials okay good job so now you are already know the um the absorb load sink and decay so now we will be having an activity so you are going to know this one to answer this one by picking the correct answer so this metal spoon float or sink Okay, metal spoon can sink on the water. Second one, um, papers absorb or do not absorb water. Of course, it can absorb water. Okay, a toy duck. So, I know, nakakita na kayo lahat nito. So, float or sink. Okay, of course, it can float to the water. So, this one, a bread. Decaying or non-decaying materials. Nabubulok or di nabubulok. So, of course, that is decaying materials. So, for the last one, absorb or do not absorb water. Of course, it cannot absorb water. So, that's all for today. I hope you learned a lot for this lesson. And if you are going to ask me any question, just comment down below. Or any suggestion, just comment, um, comment it also below. Okay? So, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Bye! Okay, that's all for today. I hope you learned a lot. Um, I hope to see you tomorrow for our new video lesson. So that's all again. I am Miss Maria Marisol Ibillar, your science teacher. Keep safe and God bless. Bye!